So every one of us, when we're awakening and raising our level of consciousness and, and becoming more aware of things and how we are behaving in life and reacting in life and shifting from fear into love, every one of us will eventually meet and encounter our spiritual ego. So there's not one person that will become immune to that. Now, there may be someone who has like an instant awakening and the ego dissolves completely, but chances are the spiritual ego came in there somewhere along the way. And it may have been a blip or it may have been a real stronghold. The spiritual ego is challenging as an individual to identify for yourself. It's easier to see in others, but it can also be easy to judge in others. So I'm not telling you all of this so you go out and you judge people for having a spiritual ego. That's ego. <laughs> That's your spiritual ego. That's your ego judging theirs. So you're adding, as soon as you're judging, you're adding ego, basically. I'm informing you of this so that you can identify and start to feel or sense or know when your ego is coming in as a spiritual ego or when that evolution happens for you and how it's playing out and also to help you see it in others. Now I'm going to, I want to help you see it in others so you can have empathy and compassion for them, not judgment for them. Most people who are in alignment with their spiritual ego, who are really caught up in the spiritual ego, don't know it and believe, honestly believe that they are doing good work in the world and that, and that the ego is not, they don't believe their ego is involved. They believe they're coming from love and in service to love. And it's really challenging as someone who's observing to point out someone else's spiritual ego. And unless you're clearly, absolutely guided, clearly heart guided, then mind your own business. Don't do it. If you're meant to say something in some way, then, you know, follow that nudge, follow that guidance. Most people who are in that stronghold of the spiritual ego or it's really embedded in their work and what they're doing in the world will not want to hear it and will become very defensive and will deflect and will deny and will avoid and will project and that's where we have all the kind of spiritual bypassing and all that kind of different stuff happening too 